Welcome back! Last time, we covered what HTML means to a browser, and how to use the open bracket, slash, and close bracket symbols. We also picked up our very first HTML tag, strong. This time around, let's take a look at exactly what goes into an HTML page. Knowing the basic structure of an HTML document will help us to start to map out how we'll structure our web pages. Open your text editor and create a new document. Save it as video2exercises.html or something equally revolutionary and unique. If you're using a dedicated web page editor, you probably have some text that looks like mine. If not, you'll need to add it in yourself. You can either type it or copy it from the description below this video. Let's see what we've got here. First, we have our doc type label. This tells the browser that this is an HTML document. In our case, it's technically XHTML. Think of this as a further evolution of HTML. It also tells us what validation to use. In this case, we want strict, as it will help enforce good coding habits. If your text says transitional, just replace transitional with the word strict in both places where it appears. Next, we have our HTML tag. This tells the browser to get ready for the HTML code that is to follow. Under our HTML tag, we have the head tag. This tells the browser that what is in this section is not to be printed in the browser viewing window. Below that, we have the meta tag. We'll skip this for now. Maybe we'll come back to it in a later installment if there's interest. Our title tag contains what will show up in the browser title bar. Notice the slash title on the other side of the text. This tells the browser that only what is between the two is the title. Since we're here, let's change the title. Replace the text between title and slash title with whatever you want, but leave the brackets. The slash head closes the head section. There's a lot more stuff that we could add to the head section, but that's for later on in the series. Now to the good stuff. The body section includes what we'll be seeing in our browser window. Notice the body and slash body bookending this area. Beneath the body section is the final bit. The slash HTML is the browser's equivalent of reading the end at the end of a book. It knows that there's nothing else after that point. Let's use the body to start planning our website. First, click beneath the body tag. Skipped lines and hitting enter doesn't matter in HTML. It determines space based on code and the CSS we create later. However, it's very useful for us to keep our workspace neat in case we have to find code in it later. First, let's make a heading. For this, we'll need a new HTML tag, the H1 or Heading1 tag. This creates large text, which is handy for telling the audience of your web page that they are about to read a section of information on a specific topic. For us, that topic will be a list of web page elements. Type open bracket, H1, close bracket, and then type list of structural elements in our web page. Remember, open bracket is the less than symbol, and close bracket is the greater than symbol. Don't forget to finish the tag with open bracket slash h1 close bracket. This should be after the text that you want to be the heading. If we previewed our page now, we'd see the words we typed in big, bold letters. We'll skip that for now, though. Hit Enter. Remember, that's for us, not for the browser. And we'll start making our list. Lists are a bit trickier than the heading we just did. First, we have to tell it what kind of list we want. The OL tag, ordered list, will give us a list with numbered bullet points. The UL tag, unordered list, will give us non-numbered bullet points. Choose whichever you want, but don't forget to finish it. For my example, I'm going with open bracket, OL, close bracket, which means I'll finish it with open bracket, slash, OL, close bracket. A list is no good without items, though. Place your cursor between the two things we just typed and hit enter twice, skipping one line between them. Place your cursor on this skipped line. It's time to enter our first list item. For items in our list, we use the list item tag. Predictably, this is started with open bracket, li, close bracket, and finished with open bracket, slash, li, closed bracket. 
For our first item, type open bracket li close bracket, then web page container, then open bracket slash li close bracket. Now let's preview. Save the document, navigate to where you saved it the first time, and open it in the browser. Success! Now back to the editor to finish our list. Let's add five more elements. A primary intro area, a navigation bar, a side menu, a content area, and a footer. Go ahead and add those into our list between the ol and slash ol tags, each as a new list item using the li and slash li tags. Pause this video while you complete the task and then return to it when you're done. Alright, let's take a look at what we've got. Your code should look like my code on the screen. When it does, save your document and head back to the browser. Refresh the document and voila! Our big heading and our multi-item list. Now that we've laid some plans out, check back next time for when we start the actual website building. See you then!